guys, welcome back once again. It is Mimo. so happy to be here with you guys as always. And today we are on our Let's Clash account. Um, we've got, <laughs> it's funny transferring from my Town Hall 9 to this account because I look at a million eight hundred thousand gold on my other one and I'm like, great, I'm not even halfway to an upgrade. Um, but on here, that much gold is actually two cannon upgrades um, or anything like that. So I don't know, it's just weird getting used to uh, to that as as a fact from going from my Town Hall 9 to um, this one. So, oh, I can upgrade my healers. That's cool, I didn't even know that I could do that. I'm probably gonna save up my elixir though to upgrade my giants because, um, I don't know, I like using them a lot. Uh, what else do I use though? My barbarians are already up and my wizards for my wizardian strategy are already up. Um, so we could always do goblins. Maybe I could start doing some giant healer type stuff. Uh, you guys let me know. I might upgrade the healers, but who knows. Um, but what we are going to do, I think, in this video right now, we have all of our builders but one, uh, because this mortar is finishing up in actually 48 minutes. So that's good. We're going to have all of our mortars up, and they will all be maxed for Town Hall 8. Uh, next, we have to get our wizards up, but I haven't been able to keep too much gold on uh, this account because... Uh, I've been playing back and forth between the other two, and then I forget about this one when I'm raiding too much on the other one, so um, I miss out on a lot of resources. But I think what we're going to do is, let's see how many of our cannons, so that cannon right there is level 9. Um, oh wow, so we can go up to gold on those. This one's 8, um, that one is 9, and you can tell by the little gold stripes on the platform. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one right here, and I'm going to upgrade this one right here as well. So we're going to get two upgrades in this video when it comes to our cannons. Um, our king is going to take 15,000 more to get him up to level 3. And um, I believe, let's see what we have when it comes to Dark Elixir troops. So 10,000 will get our minions up to two, to level 2, and 20,000 will get all ho our hogs up. So... Um, eventually we're gonna have to start farming for some dark elixir which is gonna suck I just popped my neck <laughs> um, but so we have two upgrades so far why don't we go ahead and jump into an attack we're doing the wizarian strategy again but first I'm sorry I'm gonna end that um, let's go and watch this one attack that I had uh, right here where we got 250,000 gold um, I love the wizarian strategy it works really really well uh, so I bait the king out up here at the top with the barbarian um, and as you can see, he does have all of his defenses up besides his air defenses and this uh, one archer tower right there. So we're just going to drop down a couple wizards and a, uh, a lot of barbarians up there at the top to help take out um, the king. And then I take out this mortar down here. I don't know if I really needed to, uh, but I still had one more lightning spell at the end of it, so I was fine with that. But I, I know that you all have seen this strategy a lot at this point, um, except for maybe some of you new people haven't. But this is a Wizarian strategy that I came up with. I'm sure other people have used it, but I guess I kind of coined the name. Um, but it works really, really well because you use your Barbarians who have a lot of health to kind of be your meat shield for the Wizards. Uh, you can see that these Barbarians over here and Wizards are doing work on the inside. Um, and the Wizards at Town Hall 8, when they're maxed for Town Hall 8, do a lot, a lot of damage because it's the same as they are for Town Hall 9. Uh, so getting wizards up to this level is really really good and they do a lot of damage um, we can continue just fast forwarding through this it actually probably was a good idea to lightning strike that mortar because all those troops in the middle would have been taken out for sure um, but we're just going to continue working our way around the wizards are doing a ridiculous amount of damage um, on the inside and we just take it out right there 100% 250,000 gold there was not much elixir but it was a really really good attack um, when it comes to finding it. So I'm going to go ahead and look for another live attack for you guys because I know that y'all like there was a lot more than me just uh, playing some replays. But um, we are, we're slowly moving up on, on this account, guys, and upgrading our defenses. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out... I know how to stream now. I'm, I just need to figure out a day, and I need to get gems, and I'll probably... You guys let me know. I don't want to gem on this account, um... I don't want to gym anything besides troops. So y'all let me know if you want me to get on, stream for an hour with like $20 in gems or something and just go with Wazarian and, and other attack strategies. You guys can see me fail, you can see me succeed, you can see me search, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, but let me know if y'all will be okay with the whole just gymming troops because otherwise we'd be waiting around for 20 minutes for them to train up. Um, but I'm planning on doing that. I know I've been saying that for a while. Um, I figured out, I was talking to um, Nick from Teach Boom Beach and um, he gave me some programs that he uses to stream. So we can hopefully figure that out soon. It is summer for y'all. It's not summer for me or it's summer for a lot of you guys. Uh, it's not summer for me because I have a real job and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue searching and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once I find a base that is worthy of attacking, all right? All right, guys, so we're going to attack this base. The loot isn't that good. I've literally been searching for five minutes only to reveal to me that this trophy range sucks that I'm at right now. Um, I've really been working hard on the Town Hall 9 and I haven't been pushing too much on this one. Um, so I've dropped in trophies. You honestly want to be probably up around in the 1600 range. Um, I'm just going to start dropping off a wall of barbarians up here. I'm going to take out this mortar right here in the middle. Um, get all these barbarians up in here and then drop off. You guys probably know the strategy by now. Drop off all these wizards. Start getting up in there. Um, and But yeah, all that to say, great, he's got minions in his freaking clan castle. Um, but I have another lightning spell so we can take all those out pretty easily. Um, let's drop off our wall breakers, help get them in there. But anyways, uh, <laughs> you guys definitely want to uh, pay attention to your trophy range, especially on the base that you're on the most. If you guys only have one account, um, you know, the trophy range is very, very important uh, when it comes to uh, the loot that you're going to be able to get. 1700 is working really, really great right now on my Town Hall 9. Um, and Wizard vs. Wizard! Uh, it's working really, really well in my Town Hall 9, and, um, you know, I, honestly, I need to spend a little bit of time. It probably shouldn't take that long. I just pick off Town Halls uh, and get this one up to, oh, all of those guys are going down. <laughs> that was a lucky uh, giant bomb right there. Um, come on, wizards. Get all that elixir for me. There we go. Let's see if they can get it all. Only one left. One more shot. All right, we got an okay amount of it. Um, but pay attention to your trophy range, where you're at with that. 1700 is really good at Town Hall 9. I haven't been up there on this one yet. Um, but that loot wasn't that good. I spent so much just searching. Uh, I probably spent 60,000 gold just searching. So uh, we only got like 50 total or so from that raid. Um, oops. But let's go ahead and train up. Um, let's get all these guys up again. And then 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. I'm going to a wedding today, so I'm not really going to be able to um, play that much. If I was, then I would uh, just train up a whole bunch of archers and try and get my trophy range up because it's it's pretty bad right now, like I was just explaining to y'all. Um, but in the end, I mean, that wasn't a bad raid. We got, what was that, 90-something percent? 90 exactly percent with Wizarian strategy again, guys. So really, I mean, it is a good it is a good trophy pushing thing as well once you get up higher, but not for freaking silver one. Um, I need to be up probably around 1600, but um, can we, what can we do with our elixir? We can't upgrade that. Um, I guess we might, no, we can't upgrade that. All of our gold mines are already maxed out at 11. Uh, are all of our elixir collectors up there too? What is this at, one, 11? This is at 10, I can't upgrade that either. Because uh, that's gold, obviously. Uh, all of these are 11, so we don't really have anything to do. I could just, nope, can't do my healer after training up those troops. Um, so, but anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Wazarian strategy, awesome strategy. Same with the Go Winter strategy. Go check that out. Um, I have a video up for that. That's giants, wizards, and wall breakers, and goblins. Um, and it works really, really good. I love it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all have a great weekend. Like I said, I'm going to a wedding. Maybe I'll post a vlog or something while I'm there. Um, but hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.